Okay, so uh, Model X. Um, I think we've already seen that bit. So this is the uh, the uh, inverter unit. Uh, this is quite weird, this, because if you look at that, it looks like it's got a plastic cover on it. And it did. And this is it. Uh, it's stuck around, isn't it? Uh -huh. So you get this plastic cover and you think, oh right, it's covering the electronics. And then you take it off and, well, guess what? <laughs> gel. It's solid gel, look, see, look. It's, uh... <laughs> this is basically covering it. Um, so obviously what they've done is they've, they've had it this way. They put the electronics in it and then they filled it full of gel. And it's, uh, it goes right down in there. Now, what I've tried to do is remove the screws around it. Um, but I'm not actually getting in anywhere with that. So I'm going to have to revert to um, the old-fashioned way and basically just go and get a gallon of petrol and fill this and then let it break down. And uh, maybe we can get into it. But what we can do is we can actually see here, obviously they've marked this up. Uh, let me focus it a bit better. Uh, they've marked this up and you can see that there are um, uh, connections here and it looks like they've still got an array in it to my mind because you've got it's obviously high and low and you've got emitter and gate and so these are the um, uh, they're called Kelvin emitters because basically it is a connection directly to it should be a directly to the emitter on the die so that you can actually switch the gate against it instead of having to switch it on these things. Um, and there's an array across there, but there's also a pinup called D. Now, I don't know uh, what the crack is with a D, um, because MOSFETs have drain and source, uh, but uh, IGBTs have a collector and emitter. And so I don't know if D is indicating a drain, and they're not every one is like, I think, uh, let me see. So you can see there's a D pin there. You just get in. Yeah. Okay, you've got a couple of Ds in there. Let me refocus. So you've got a D here and a D down here. And every so often, in like in the, where is it? <clears throat> uh, yeah, right, okay. There's a couple of Ds there. And then down here you've got um, probably a couple in there somewhere at the end. Yes, yeah. so you've got these. Uh, I did see another one somewhere, but I don't know where it's gone now. Anyway, um, so um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what the crack is with this, but obviously these are the connections through to the IGBTs, and they're underneath this board. And we have another array, basically, of IGBTs. And from this I can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six emitter pins on each one. So that means obviously we have six IGBTs. And given that we've actually got gate and emitter connections in an array, they're still using um, individual IGBTs. They're just a bit bigger this time, I think. Don't know what the rating of this is. I'm assuming it's in the region of um, the same as the... Um, uh, Tesla Model S one which means it's going to be in the region of a thousand amps so that means if we've got six of those then that means each one of those is going to be uh, well actually it's probably going to be 1200 amps isn't it where each one's 200 um, so they're not using um, let me refocus sorry they're not using um, IGBTs uh, as modules still and the Model X came out a lot later than the S and there was modules, there definitely was uh, um, IGBT modules um, from this. Um, okay, anyway, to carry on. Um, so this is the logic board. Obviously this one's considerably bigger, it's just laid out. I think it's probably got less layers. Um, oh, and it combines the... Oh no, those are the gate driver chips there. They're definitely the gate driver chips. So this is the logic module. Now, I might actually be able to actuate that and be able to use those IGBTs through that 24-pin uh, connector. I'm guessing that's grouped into eights, and um, we did actually have on the uh, Tesla Model S. You don't buy any cigarettes, do you? No, I don't smoke, mate. Anyone know this, 
don't think so, no, mate. Um, yeah, so, I mean, random guy. Um, yeah, so we, we got, um, obviously, connections through, and given that these are, look like standard chips and so on, um, I think that this is probably a usable unit. You could probably fire these gates directly without using this logic board. I might even have a go at that, but not today. Um, because you can see the, the, you know, these are just straightforward gate driver chips. There's no processors on here as such as I can see, um, which means that this will probably just work just the same as the Model S one did. Um, the difference is, is you have to, you know, like I, I would say, I don't know if this works by CAN bus the same as the uh, Model S one does. It has the similar connector on it, although this one's laid out a bit differently. Um, but uh, I'm not going to use that. That's a, that's the original. That's a logic board, obviously. And there's the input connector there. And then you've got your output here, which is going to the gate drivers. Now I think this is a usable gate driver unit. Um, I actually have undone some of the nuts in it and stuff like that. But I could probably peg them back down again and actually use this. And it's obviously mounted on a cooler, so that would be useful. Um, could I replace this board? Well, there's lots of space here, isn't there? I mean, there's a significant thickness there. Um, I just don't have any height. And the boards that I use are actually based on an Arduino Do with an Ethernet board piggybacked, and so there's not really enough height in there. But having said that, <laughs> you can quite easily just simply have a... This is a, a JST. You can get 24 JSTs and then just take it out through there and actually mount the uh, logic board outside of it, and it would be fine like that, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I've kind of hacked at this and I've actually undone some of the screws, but I don't think the things are going to come apart. Um, the, um, I've undone the bolts basically pegging down, there's six bolts here pegging down some chassis basically which contains the IGBTs, I'm sure. Um, I could replace those and then lock it back down again. Um, I took the screws out from this board, but there's gel everywhere holding it in place, so I don't think there's any reason why I can't still use this thing right now, even though I've hacked it a little bit. Connectors are all there, I'm pretty sure. Um, we've got, I think, um, this connector. Let's have a look. Can't see where that goes. Let's see if I can get my phone inside there. I don't know. Let me put the light on and see. Can I get the light on? I can't. No, it doesn't matter. All right, if I can get the... Uh, get it in there and see. Oh, crikey, it's sticking to the phone. <laughs> I can't see there. I don't know. Well, I might have to take a picture or something like that to get in there. Anyway, we'll see. Um, there's obviously stuff down there I might be able to get into. And I'll put my phone in there and maybe take some stills of those. I don't know. Um, oh, I can easily get inside here, I suppose. And we can have a look at that lot there, see what's going on. As you can see, uh -huh, I don't know. Maybe. Let's just try to refocus to see if we can get some clarity. Actually, I can see things there. So you might be able to see the IGBTs themselves. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll play this video back. I'm just looking at the screens, I'm doing it, and I think I could see what looks like IGBTs in the middle of that somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. We'll find that out. See what's going on. Yeah. One thing I'm missing out, actually, and I might be able to see it when I get the video back, is I'm not seeing any capacitors on this, which is quite interesting. Usually get some large ones. Maybe they're underneath there, I don't know. Um, and we've also got these things. These are obviously uh, high power um, transistors of some sort. Um, possibly regulators, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, oh. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes playing in the background there. So this is as far as I've got in. I'm going to actually stop today, I think, because I really want to try and get stuff going. I can certainly hook that motor up. It's three phase up to my purpose-built controller over there and get it spinning so we'll probably do that and uh, and yeah and then that means that at least we've got the Model X AC induction unit working yes hmm interesting anyway yep let's get a, a bit of a, a wider shot on that so the video itself has a shot 